Using public transportation got easier earlier this year. DART expanded its on-demand service to the Riverbend neighborhood in Des Moines and the Jordan Creek area in West Des Moines. Good evening, I'm Janae Town. Just months after the expansion, DART now faces the possibility of major service cuts. One of the metro's fastest growing cities is cutting ties with the bus service altogether. WHO 13's Andy Fails joins us and Andy city leaders say bus use just didn't justify the cost. Well, Janae, DART is very important. Not everyone has a car. Some families have two working parents, but only one car. Some people don't want to use their car when they don't have to. But a community needs a lot of those types of people to justify bus service. Now, DART made over 3,500 trips to Grimes last year, but that number is a bit deceiving. Grimes has only one bus stop that's in the Walmart parking lot and only 13 actual Grimes residents used the bus last year. That is some tough math. Now, DART is quick to point out that Grimes has one of the lowest tax levy rates in the DART community and that that rate has gone down each of the last three years. But Grimes still paid over $645,000 to keep that connection last year. And city leaders say the use and cost numbers are just way off balance. So tonight, it only took about five minutes. The six-person city council voted unanimously to sever its ties from the DART community. Our ridership just isn't high. You know, you've got seven paratransit riders and six um, other riders. And so when you look at the math, you're paying... You, know, you could buy everybody a couple cars for that price. Um, so for us, for this community, it just doesn't make sense when we're trying to be very you know, responsible with the taxpayer dollars. We, we understand individual communities have decisions to make, uh, but we will stay focused on the rest of the 11 other member communities who are committed to moving forward with DART and providing efficient and effective service that meets the needs of their, of their residents for years to come. You heard the mayor mention the seven paratransit riders from Grimes. He, he said that the city would seek out those individuals to make sure that each is set up with some sort of alternative transportation. The DART service to Grimes will continue until the summer of 2025. Janae. Still have some time to get those rides in. Okay, thanks a lot, Andy.